Welcome to the China Briefing. The content of the briefing includes The global tremors from China's real estate crisis are only just starting. Biden is looking beyond tariffs to keep Chinese smart cars out of the US. China traders eye triggers that threaten to push yuan past 7.20. UK's collar capital to move Hong Kong office to new skyscraper The Henderson. New highs for Nikkei, Hong Kong limps to holiday break. The global tremors from China's real estate crisis are only just starting. Bloomberg. Chinese investors and creditors are putting their international real estate holdings up for sale in order to raise cash and help offload the risks of a falling market. This marks a turning point for the industry which has been suffering from a deepening property crisis in China. The slump, triggered by borrowing cost hikes, has wiped over $1 trillion off office property values. The fact that so few assets have been sold means that appraisers are operating with limited recent data, making it difficult to ascertain the true extent of the damage. Furthermore, the market is concerned that the logjam could be hiding large, unrealized losses. However, a new batch of overseas assets acquired during a decade-long Chinese expansion spree are starting to hit the market as landlords and developers seek to raise cash to shore up their domestic operations. With motivated sellers, the market freeze could thaw, improving transparency and price discovery, said Talu Alamutu, a credit analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence. Biden is looking beyond tariffs to keep Chinese smart cars out of the US. Bloomberg. The Biden administration is said to be considering restrictions on imports of Chinese electric vehicles, EVs, and related components due to concerns about data security. The measures would apply to EVs and parts originating from China, regardless of where they are assembled, to prevent Chinese manufacturers from entering the US market via third countries. The administration is particularly concerned about the data collected by smart cars, as many vehicles are equipped with modems that connect them to the internet, making them potential targets for hacking. China traders eye triggers that threaten to push yuan past 7.20. Bloomberg. Pressure is being placed on the onshore yuan to weaken past the 7.20 per dollar level, a level that has not been breached since November. The next big volatility event for the yuan that could trigger such a breach could be the Bank of Japan's meeting this month as well as Federal Reserve signaling of potential interest rate cuts. If the Chinese government allows the currency to cross the line, it would be seen as a signal that Beijing is stepping up efforts to stimulate China's economy. UK's collar capital to move Hong Kong office to new skyscraper The Henderson. Bloomberg. Collar Capital, a UK investment firm, has signed a lease for office space at The Henderson, a new skyscraper in Hong Kong. The firm will occupy around 4,500 square feet of space in the building, which is set to officially open later this year. Other tenants at the Henderson include Christie's, Audemars Piguet and Carlyle Group. The leasing of office space in Hong Kong comes as the city's commercial real estate market faces challenges, with high vacancy rates and falling rents. What China really needs is more bad news. Bloomberg. Chinese leaders are attempting to revive faith in the country's economy by suppressing negative economic news and critical public comments. However, this strategy is unlikely to be successful and could have unintended consequences. The suppression of negative data will only increase uncertainty among investors, dampening enthusiasm for Chinese stocks. Furthermore, the lack of credible data makes it difficult for investors to assess whether things are improving, leading them to withhold capital and prolong the slump. China should learn from the US, which values transparency and credibility of economic data, and consider a bolder reform effort to address economic challenges. Kim Jong-un says he has lawful right to destroy South Korea. Bloomberg North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has declared that he has the legal right to destroy South Korea following his decision to remove peaceful unification from North Korea's national policy. Kim labeled South Korea as the primary enemy and stated that it could be attacked and destroyed at any time. This comes after North Korea's parliament abolished laws for economic cooperation with South Korea and amid a series of provocations and threats by Kim's regime. 
The South Korean government believes that North Korea is attempting to raise its profile ahead of April elections for parliament. There is speculation that Kim's recent actions indicate a readiness for battle, although US President Joe Biden has warned that a nuclear attack by North Korea would mean the end of Kim's regime. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO brief via email.